Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast from meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. All right, yeah, wrestling gets crazy sometimes this morning. I think the commute could be a little bit crazy. So in all seriousness, we got some thick fog. Uh, Chincoteague right now, this is one of our cameras, and you can see that fog up that way. It is uh, pretty thick there. It's pretty thick across the region. So have a look at this, some of the uh, numbers and the latest information. So weather headlines, we got fog this morning, clouds and some sprinkles. Midday clearing, the fog's not going to last all day. We'll clear up a little bit. Temperatures pop up to the low 70s for a time. And then we'll be cool and dry and breezy on Thursday. And then we'll be cool and damp over the weekend. Uh, kind of like the pattern we just had. So some upcoming hazards, fog, low visibilities, some wet roads, uh, some damp roads allow for some extra commute time. Here's the numbers. Half mile visibility at Wallops Island, quarter mile in Virginia Beach in Currituck, half mile in Suffolk, a half mile in Kildable Hills, three mile in Newport News, and three quarters of a mile in Wakefield, half mile in Ahoski. Bottom line is the fog is just about everywhere and it's pretty thick in a lot of locations. What's going on is, again, we've got that cool, damp air coming in off the ocean. Now, it's here, but there's not much wind at the moment. High pressure is kind of just to the north of us, so the humidity is just kind of stuck in place. But the wind will pick up out of the southwest. We'll pull up this warmth for one day, and then the cooler, drier air will come in behind this front. That gets here this evening. Might cause a few isolated showers, but then we'll dry out for tomorrow. So today, 73, tomorrow, 65. There's the front, and then we stay down going into the weekend and uh, maybe going up a little bit on Sunday, but the bottom line is it stays cool and damp there for a while. And let's go back here for a second. We'll uh, show that uh, humidity. Uh, well, we'll go past it, but bottom line is we got the humidity out there right now, <clears throat> and then the drier weather, uh, yeah, now it backs up. And the drier weather is going to be coming in here, and uh, that's going to be happening for Thursday and Friday. And the humidity goes back up again around Halloween. All right, so let's take a look at it. Super Doppler 10 radar. We have uh, no rain out there at the moment, but I'll say there's been some mist and a little drizzle in spots. And that's going to be the case this morning. It's very light and low to the ground. Doesn't pick up well on radar. So we have the clouds, the fog, a little drizzle this morning. Look at this. Between about 10 o'clock and noon, we get some clearing in here. That is pending these winds. The winds have to pick up to mix out the air. Once that happens, we'll be doing fine. Midday looks good. 3 o'clock looks good. Uh, we're going to cloud up a little bit around 6 o'clock, and there might be some spotty showers, 6 to about 9 o'clock. That's ahead of that front. Then behind it, we dry out. We'll have a little clearing overnight and more clearing tomorrow morning, and then we'll have some pretty nice weather for a good portion of Thursday. Maybe a little more clouds to the south, but I think we're going to have enough sunshine to call it a nice day on Thursday. The breeze will be out of the north. So today, 73 in Virginia Beach in Norfolk, 73 Portsmouth, Suffolk, mid-70s in Chesapeake, Elizabeth City, 73 Kildare Hills. Clouds fog this morning, midday clearing, a little bit of sunshine this afternoon, partly cloudy skies. Same for uh, Melfa, 69, 70 in Hampton, 69 in Gloucester, 73 in Newport News, 75 in Williamsburg. On the water, you got fog this morning, southwest winds pick up though, and then the seas are running two to three feet, the bay is one foot. In the tropics, you know we're watching a couple of weak airs, low pressure, I think they might form and move offshore, but it's just basically going to give us that same weather pattern, the damp, cool weather Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Highs in the 60s. Isolated showers on Monday for Halloween. We'll have updates on that coming up.